So four years ago, I read an interview with the professor from the hospital in Liège, and in his article, he said that 40% of the coma patients received the wrong diagnosis. 40% of them still have a certain level of consciousness. I thought it was interesting because the topic allowed me to talk about uh, what does it mean to be conscious and what does it mean to, uh, uh, to live and what happens when young people end up in a situation where they are no longer able to communicate with the outside world. Um, so I wrote them an email and they invited me to Liège to have a look at the hospital myself and I immediately met families that convinced me that this was a very interesting topic. It would be a very tough one, but it would be very interesting. It would be very intense, but it would allow me to yeah, make a very meaningful film. And um, so I decided to start. I uh, did research for three years. It took me a long time to find the right family to film. But then once I did, we, um, yeah, we just switched on the camera and that was the beginning of a long adventure. So usually you associate hospital films with the TV format and I really wanted to make cinema. I wanted to use this whole cinema screen to show the life of this family. What struck me was that when you meet families like the one in my film is that they all end up in a uh, isolated situation. After some time, everybody stops showing interest in their story and their situation in the patient. And uh, yeah, everybody loses interest and there they are just with themselves. And the big format allowed me to show this uh, isolation. You know? They were alone in this big cinema screen with only empty space around them. Uh, but it also allowed me to film this whole room that they lived in for the period they were in the hospital. And to show more than just one person in the same frame and to show how one person reacted to the replies from the other one and how there was tension between them and how they interacted. And for me, that was the most interesting thing about this format is that I could try to be as close as possible to the, the characters of my film. So I, uh, I started by telling them that I more or less had the same experience as them. I was 25 when my mom had euthanasia uh, and uh, she had cancer, so she spent a lot of time in hospitals. So I kind of knew what it was to be in a hospital. So when I met them for the first time and I saw that they were a little bit hesitant on whether or not to collaborate with me, I told them immediately, like, I'm Tom and I can understand what you go through uh, and I want to show your story. I want to tell your story to other people so that they can also understand what you go through. I saw that that was the thing they needed because they all feel very uh, misunderstood as if they are alone and isolated and nobody understands their story so um, that was the the thing that also um, determined my position I, uh, I spent three years walking around in the hospital and I knew exactly what was happening on a day-to-day -day basis and I also knew what 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 every family had in common what made every family different so I was very well prepared. So I could really tell my cameraman, okay, I think today you need to position the camera there. Uh, today is gonna be tough, so maybe take a little bit more distance. Um, so yeah.